Hey guys, my name is Trey. Welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you guys about goal planning. So let me start off by saying why goal planning usually doesn't work for most people. And it usually starts happening around this type of year. You know, everybody starts having their New Year's resolutions. They trying to go to the gym, get in better shape. And they usually do it until they burn out after like one or two months. And then they just end up going back to the same thing they was doing before, claiming that what they're doing doesn't work. Now, I used to be in the same boat until I learned these concepts I'm going to teach you guys in this video. Goals are direction. Goals are meant to help guide you towards a better lifestyle because you don't want to be doing things just to be doing them because that's like running in place when you're trying to get somewhere else. But also, you don't want to have a goal without having the actions or the systems behind it because both by themselves are meaningless. And that's one of the things that James Clear goes about in Atomic Habits. If you haven't already picked up this book, I highly recommend you go check it out. Your goals don't have to be smart. One of the big traps I fell into personally in goal planning for 2021 is that all my goals have to be smart. And in case you don't know what SMART goals are, SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic, and Time Bound. And honestly, constricting my goal plan into that way, I think it was kind of demotivating to basically live my life by statistics. That's okay to measure things in your life, but only if you do it in a certain way, which kind of goes into our next concept. Measure the gain, not the gap. Now, someone who I see as a digital mentor, Joy B. Pizan, talked about this in his book, 12 Rules of Life. And this rule number four, which is measure yourself by who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. Now, when I was using smart goals, I found myself doing this a lot, which is comparing myself to others. And honestly, that led to a lot of burnout, unnecessary stress. And when you follow this rule, it just finds yourself being so much more happy and eliminate a whole lot of unnecessary stress. So the next thing I want to talk about is be honest about what you want. Now, this is real karma for everybody. Everybody let others influence what they want based on their judgment. Now, this is where you're supposed to look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, is this what I really want? For instance, if you don't like the Instagram lifestyle and you just want to be a simple person and live a simple life, be honest about what you want and just go ahead and strive for that. And also, don't just be honest with it to yourself. Let others know that's what you want also. Okay, so let me go over some of the processes I use to help me with my goals. Okay, so currently I got three goals. So my first goal is I want to post 50 videos this year on YouTube. So the first step is to break it down. How do I get to 50 videos? What are the things I need to do in order to get to them? Well, first, I need to have a consistent upload schedule. So I need to set a certain day that each week I'm going to upload video. Next, I need to set aside time to record videos and edit. And next, I need to consistently brainstorm different ideas for videos. So my next goal is for me to land my first job as a web developer. The way I go about this is I got to code consistently doing different projects online on GitHub, consistently showing my work, also, I need to consistently network on Twitter and LinkedIn and other dev platforms in order to build my network out so that I can better land a job through referrals. Also, I need to code in public. That's one of the reasons I have this YouTube channel, which is I'm going to show some of the projects I'm going to be working on and possibly even live stream on Twitch later down the line once I work out some things in my life to get some more time to do that. So a big thing you're going to notice, everything has to build with consistency because habits plus systems times time equals results. That's honestly one of the things I think people got mixed up about goals is a lot of these things take time. As long as you keep on doing the things you're doing and you're smart about it, eventually you will see the results. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys. Hope these concepts helped you the way they helped me. By the way, if you haven't already, please go check out Time Cabins by James Clear and 12 Rules of Life by Jordan P. Peterson if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.